Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing well. My name is Ali. In this series I am going to focus on the query builder side of the things, or query builder which uh, comes along with the ladder well. Now, one of the main reasons why I want to do this series is not only for me to be able to, you know, refer to in the future, but also uh, for you guys to take a ride along with me and probably you might learn a few things along the way, right? There have been a few times where I uh, walked into uh, companies and they had this legacy website built and now any web application does rely on a database, right? But um, because of the fact that they were legacy historically and at that time it was all done the database layer was actually done sort of in a hardcore MySQL connecting, MySQL I connecting that way. And you would end up sort of writing raw SQL queries and just open up yourself to like, you know, if you weren't careful enough to SQL injections where you would just pass in the user inputs and stuff like that, right? So I don't think if I can introduce or uh, have a better introduction than what you will find on the Laravel documentation itself about the query builder. Uh, but what it does do is it basically let you have this uh, fluent interface for you to create and run different queries against your database. And you don't have to worry about the prepared statements and passing parameters and not directly inputting the user input, right? all that uh, security things. So it takes care of you or it just does the heavy lifting for you and let you focus on what you need to do. So in this series, what we will do is we are not going to be using any sort of models. We're not gonna be creating any relationships. That is uh, probably, that requires a series on its own. And uh, I'm hoping um, if you guys want it, let me know in the comments and I will set up a series about Eloquent and we will work through different scenarios um, using Eloquent itself. However, in this series, we are going to work on the query builder itself. I'm not gonna be setting up any database from the scratch. What I will do is I'm gonna bring in the Sakila database, right? And it has everything that I need Right. And we will be referring to this diagram a lot more. So you can actually see, and there is a relationship between an actor and a film. You know, an actor can work in different films. A film can have many different actors. And then you have this intermediate sort of table in terms of Laravel, I will call this like sort of like a pivot table, right? Where I can uh, relate the film to the actor that's sort of one relationship. The same thing is happening with the film in the category. Category can have many films and, uh, you know, all that uh, good stuff. Uh, the setup is going to be that we are going to run a raw SQL query first. We will get some results back and then we will step by step translate that raw SQL query using Query Builder and that way and we will have a lot more fun. Okay, my uh, the setup that I have, and I'm presuming that you already have MySQL uh, installed on your system. I use Homebrew. That way um, it's much easier. Uh, what I would suggest if you haven't got anything set up is that you go f and look for Laravel Valet and just follow the instructions. Or if you're a window user, not much that I can help you with, but you can use Zamp or MAMP or any of that kind of thing to have you up and running. But if you're using Mac, um, then you can go ahead and uh, have, you know, a composer installed on your machine, a homebrew, and then you can install the PHP and then you can install the valet. And what, what it does is that, for example, on my machine, I've got a folder called www or www. And that folder is my main place for all the projects that I work with. And I have, uh, and you just basically uh, run a command there. So you, when you, when you go into the folder where you want to have all your projects, you just run wallet uh, link or is it wallet park? I believe, I think, yeah. Yeah, so the park command here, right? 
and out of the box it will give you dot test sort of uh, TLD the domain that way then uh, you can go into the browser and you can have your app up and running so let's start creating a new project I'm gonna call this a new query builder so it's gonna be a query builder project where we are going to take some raw SQL queries and it, we will translate them into the um, we will translate them using the query builder itself okay now if I go ahead and I open that in my PHP storm so here we go query builder is there now in my the project is there in my PHP storm I'm gonna quickly go ahead and specify my database connection so I forgot to show you but if you go to the sample database you basically have this uh, installation so if you go to the installation itself then you will find where you can download these files I've already downloaded these files and I have actually imported uh, the database into SQL Pro that I'm using but these are the files that you can download and then you can create a database and basically import the schema first and then you can import the data itself and that way you will be having a working database right okay so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and I'm going to connect to this database and that should be okay I think cool 